I'm Dave Carroll. If you want to have an awesome experience with my tools, you need to follow a few simple instructions. The biggest challenge for anyone who has ever painted is edging next to the ceiling, various trims, including baseboards. If you follow these simple instructions, you can eliminate up to 60% of the ladder and brushwork on same color paint jobs and on second coat on color change paint jobs. We have two different sizes of edging rollers, a 3 inch and a 4.5 and inch. Keeping the outside of the red shield clean is critical to having a good painting experience. The process for loading the roller is exactly the same for both sizes. We recommend using a paint tray with a raised grid pattern on the slope. The majority of DIY and professional painters will quickly and easily learn the skill that is required. This demonstration will show three different options for wiping the tip clean after loading the roller on the tray. The options are a soft dry cotton cloth, a dry paper towel, and or a damp sponge. After you have become proficient at loading the roller, you might not have to do the wiping or dabbing process. After you have loaded the roller and wiped the shield, here is the process for unloading and texturing the roller. You must make sure the foam gasket is loaded and dispensing paint. It is important to apply a little more pressure to the paint shield end of the roller to get the foam to dispense paint. You will quickly see when edging against trim how the tip pressure works. Here are a few clips showing our 3 inch edger in action. Many of our DIY customers find the 3 inch is easier to use. Our tools were featured at the Las Vegas Paint and Hardware Show, reviewed by the DIY show I Want That. Watch as we demonstrate our 4.5 inch jumbo roller. You will quickly appreciate the additional speed of our jumbo roller. This video clip on unloading the 4.5 inch jumbo roller will show edging next to 7 feet of T-bar, 7 feet of typical window and door trim, and 7 feet of typical baseboard. Notice that most of the paint is unloaded before pressure is applied to the shield or the foam where it contacts the trim while performing the edging process. There is also a close-up of a 7 foot section edged next to in a matter of seconds. Notice, no tape and no brush on final coat. The majority of color change paint jobs involves two coats of paints and two cuts with a brush. You can reduce your painting time by up to 60%. A short easy learning curve and once you get it you are going to be amazed at the speed and quality you can achieve, helping you eliminate taping, ladder and brushwork. You can save yourself dangerous ladder work by using our 11 position adjustable handle mounted on an extension pole. You can easily find the perfect angle that will work in the majority of high areas. Install it on an extension pole and you are ready to go. My tools are designed as an edging assist tool. You can get first cut accuracy on many paint jobs. A few edging tasks on first cut might still require some brushwork like up to textured ceilings and on inside edges that have an irregular or rounded caulking bead. You can eliminate ladder work by using our adjustable jumbo edger on an extension pole to quickly get paint up to the ceiling. Then you can use a brush extender to finish the ceiling cut line safely from the floor. Here is a short clip showing edging on top of commercial base. Anyone who has ever painted on top of these vinyl trims will appreciate the ability to edge next to the trim and not need to use tape or a brush. So in conclusion, which kit should I choose? I recommend you choose a kit that gives you both handles and both sizes of rollers. There are benefits to both sizes. Your best starting option is our six piece intermediate kit. If you want extra rollers, check out our Advanced Pro Kit with 24 pieces. It gives you those extra rollers for additional colors. Fast Trim Edging Rollers. Easier, quicker, better. Why brush when you can roll?